Hey guys, uh, just to give you a quick update here. It's uh, Saturday the uh, 29th here uh, in sunny Poway, California. Uh, give you a quick update on uh, what I'm going to attempt to do today with the boat. The uh, uh, weather turned out to be really good. The forecast says that uh, we're not supposed to have rain till about to 2 o'clock, so it gives me a couple of hours. So I'm going to attempt this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done or not, though, but we're going to give it a shot. But uh, I wanted to kind of uh, give you guys an idea, show you some of the stuff that I picked up uh, to get the engines removed. Uh, thank goodness for Harbor Freight. Uh, you can see the, the, the boat's fairly tall, uh, so like a standard uh, engine hoist wasn't going to work. I didn't want to build a, um, uh, an A-frame kind of to put up here, so it was going to be too difficult. I'd have to move the boat back and forth to get the engines out. Uh, so uh, what I did was uh, I had an engine uh, engine lift uh, from a long time ago, and what I did was I modified it. Um, you know, I haven't tested it out yet. You know, we're going to take little baby steps with it, but uh, uh, I raised the entire structure vertically about uh, about five and a half feet. I took some four inch channel and had a buddy of mine weld up uh, weld up the plates. And so we just raised the entire thing about five and a half feet, uh, picked up some um, additional reinforcing straps to take the place of these original straps, which were right about here on, on this lifting portion of it. And so, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm not an engineer, but, uh, you know, looking at it mechanically, I'm thinking, well, it should probably work because uh, all, the, all the loads will be the same in the same position geometrically just lifted vertically and I've got it pretty well supported there so I think that's going to work and I'm sure that's going to get up uh, high enough to um, to get over into the engine uh, engine base and rather than try to use the uh, uh, the hydraulics to lift it up and down um, went to Harbor Freight and I picked up this stuff uh, because I'm not sure where the CG is going to be on the engines uh, yeah, and how to set up chain links. Uh, I figured this would be the easiest way. So a little three-quarter ton load leveler and uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. I, put, I just put that together this morning and uh, lubed up the worm gear on it. Uh, so it works pretty smooth. So that should help. And uh, for the lifting portion of it, I uh, bought a one-ton uh, uh, chain fall. Uh, all the stuff Harbor Freight. I mean, I'm, this is not a professional shop, but uh, it should be uh, uh, heavy duty enough to, to get done what we need to get done. You know, just lifting these engines. These engines can't be can't be that heavy. So that's what we're going to attempt to do here. Uh, I've got uh, I've got one more bolt in the uh, uh, the transom plate on the starboard engine that's got to come off. Uh, so I'm going to run over to uh, my brother-in-law's house here right now and pick up his impact tool and uh, see if we can't bust that out. Uh, if the rain doesn't come in, uh, hopefully we might be able to get one of the engines out today. So uh, we'll let you know how it goes. And uh, oh, the lobster lobster fishing last night, uh, it was a bust. Uh, almost a full moon down here in the, um, uh, in the San Diego area and uh, uh, we just got skunked. <laughs> we got skunked bad. Uh, picked, took up a bunch of uh, uh, those ugly spider crabs. Uh, we probably caught about 10 of those, uh, a bunch of little uh, dungeness type crabs and uh, some starfish. And, and that, that's all we got. We had three lobsters, but you know they were shorties. You know we couldn't keep them. Uh, so uh, part of it, I think, was because the Navy ran us out. Uh, you know, where we like to go uh, go fishing is pretty close to the sub base uh, here in San Diego, and uh, the Navy patrol boats were out in full force last night. And they, they wouldn't let us get up near the bait barge. We're uh, you know just just outside the bait barge. It's it's usually pretty good fish in there, but uh, yeah, we couldn't get in there last night. You know, something about an M60 machine gun hanging off the side rail of the boat. You know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the guy was nice enough, but he kicked us out. So we had to go to a different spot. And, you know, we just got skunked. But you know that's why they call it fishing and not catching, I guess. Okay, well that's it for now. Uh, uh, more to follow. Well, hopefully we get this thing out today. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna take a shot here. Weather's threatening. Uh, you can kind of see the clouds are moving in pretty good right now, but uh, 
I got Jeff here. He brought his impact wrench over, and uh, we got yeah, we got that last bolt out. So we're going to attempt to get one of the engines out here right now. We're going to kind of concentrate on the uh, on the port side. So as you can see, we got the uh, the chain fall set up, cherry picker kind of set up there. All right, see what happens. See what happens. My Gorilla Grip gloves. <laughs> I am so highly recommending these gloves. Have you ever used these? Uh, oh, they are so freaking cool. You know, like mechanics gloves? Yeah. I've never liked them before. But these things, are, they, they fit just like skin. They're really, really thin, very mountain. You can pick everything up. It's like a, a, a nylon mesh on the back, so it stretches. And it's like a neoprene on the, the bottom side. It doesn't matter if it's got grease on it, hydraulic fluid, oil. It just you uh -huh. grip everything with it. It's really cool. Where did you get those? Oh, uh, Home Depot. They're like five bucks. Yeah. What I didn't like about the rugs is you can't take something up. Well, that, that's what I didn't like about them in the beginning. But with these, they're going to pretty much pick everything up. Alright, hold on. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Uh, I just don't need to be careful of dropping that on between the engines. Solid, huh? Yeah. So we have a test of it.
further. Hey guys, so far so good. We're just about to go out to stand. This is at least another inches and a half. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and lower it down just a little bit more. I should put that on the chain. Can I put it on that one? Uh, the other one. Couple blocks of wood, Randy. What did you do with these? 
I put them on top of my blue toolbox. All right, guys. Well, engine is out. The uh, you got the port engine out anyway. Uh, but it's, it's already starting to sprinkle, so I don't know how much more we're going to get done. And I didn't have the bolts uh, to bolt up to the engine stand. So we're going to go cover this up. We're going to go grab some lunch, get some bolts, come back, and we'll, we'll put it on the engine stand. But I think that's about all we're going to get done for today. All right, guys. Thanks. See ya. Hey, guys. Okay. So uh, here's the last update for, uh, for today, Saturday, the, uh, the 29th. Uh, the earlier post, earlier part of the video here, we uh, uh, were getting ready to uh, pull the engines. Uh, we had gotten everything set up. The weather was holding out for us. And you only, you, we only had a couple hour window uh, uh, before the rain came in on us. Uh, yeah, winter time here in California, and uh, so we've got these storms moving through. And uh, it, it came through. Uh, as you can kind of see, it's, uh, it's pretty overcast out here. Uh, it's been raining pretty good. I mean, it's it's really really wet outside. The um, the rain came on us uh, just a little bit too soon. We got we were able to get the engine out, but uh, did not have the bolts that I needed to uh, get it mounted up to the engine stand. Uh, because the rain came, I had to get it on the ground to get the engine covered uh, to keep it dry or you know keep as much water off of it as I could. So um, it's setting on blocks right now behind the boat. And uh, you know, got the uh, the engine hoist uh, moved back inside the fence line. Uh, but engine hoist, by the way, worked great. I mean, I was very happy with the way that went. The uh, the load leveler was was a huge thing. I mean, we that load leveler worked out really really well for us. I was able to to tilt the engine and you know spin it around. So it, it, that was that was a big plus. Uh, definitely want to use one of those in the, in the next one. Well, I've got one, so I will use it. Um, the, uh, the, the chain fall, uh, that worked really, really good too. I was very happy with the way the whole thing came together. So, uh, so I'm hopeful that the, uh, the, the second engine is gonna, gonna come out uh, uh, just as easy, if not easier. I think that uh, it'll be a little easier because I've got the heat exchanger removed. Uh, I would definitely uh, uh, recommend if anyone is doing this with one of these uh, MC-165s or 470 style engines, uh, get the heat exchangers off especially if you're working with a seaway like this, uh, give you a lot more room to uh, maneuver the engine to get it out of the engine compartment. So, yeah, that was kind of it. So here's, like I said, you can see we got some some weather coming in on us. Um, got the engine out, so we're just another step closer here. Uh, I've got it covered here at the, at the, at the back of the boat. Uh, tomorrow, if, uh, if everything goes well tomorrow, um, Get a little bit of break in the weather. It's supposed to be raining during the morning, but uh, hopefully it'll clear up by afternoon. If it does, we'll go ahead and um, get the engine mounted up to the uh, uh, to the engine stand. This is the uh, Harbor Freight engine stand that I bought. We're going to go ahead and, and bolt up to this so that uh, I can work on it in the garage here, uh, not have to work on it down on blocks. Uh, my second gimbal housing assembly came in today. Uh, so I've got I've got both gimbal housings uh, assemblies here pretty much ready to go. Well, I shouldn't say that they're not ready to go. Um, this one here, uh, much better condition, uh, doesn't have any bellows in it. Uh, that that's okay. Uh, that's not a problem. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna gonna repaint. Uh, I will repaint it, but I don't know how far down I'm gonna take take it because uh, this one's actually in really good shape. Uh, the one that came in today, um, it's still good shape. There's no corrosion. You can see it's got a lot of calcium deposits in, uh, on it, so we're going to go ahead and clean that up. This one I will probably take apart, and I'm pretty sure the upper pin uh, is going to get changed. Uh, I, I've got uh, quite a bit of play in the steering lever, so I need to figure out what, uh, what's, what's causing that. So uh, this one is definitely going to be coming apart. Uh, but you know, again, that's going to be down the road. Uh, right now, it's just engines, engines, ring gears, starters. So I'm going to get that stuff done, get into the, uh, uh, get into the engine compartment, get that cleaned up, uh, get that wiring cleaned up, and uh, you know, just one day at a time. So anyway, that's it for now. You know, uh, see you guys uh, down the road here.